All right, now our colleague here at the SABC, the inimitable Leanne Manis, has been honoured by the French government. So yesterday in Johannesburg, she was bestowed with the Knight of the French National Order of Merit on behalf of French President Emmanuel Macron. The High Order recognises her immense contribution to journalism, to media, and also her various important charitable causes. Uh, Leanne Manis joining us now. Uh, welcome to you. Um, a hearty congratulations. We're all very proud to call you our colleague today. Um, what, what does this honor mean to you, Leanne? Oh, thank you, Francis. Thank you so much. And, you know, I must say, it's, it's just been such an incredible day and a day that has, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm still waiting to, to actually adjust and take in all of this, all of this wonderful elation that I'm feeling inside of me. But, you know, being a part of an organization like the SABC has been just an incredible opportunity for me to live a dream and to constantly be able to, to change and to develop as a journalist and to develop as somebody that has been doing this for quite some time now, but has sort of evolved into where I am right now. And, you know, for me, it's just, you know, Francis, you know what it's like working here. We never get thanked in this industry for anything. In fact, you just get the, on the receiving end of all the negativity. But to be able to, to walk away and to have an honor bestowed on you for doing something that you love, I can't think of anything better. Did, did you see it coming? I mean, do they contact you and say, would you like to receive this, this honor from the French president or, or does it come out of the blue? Well, I have to tell you, it did come out of the blue, but I did hear about it a few months ago. So I was contacted by the ambassador here in South Africa who sent me a message to say that I had been selected as um, somebody that they would love to honor with this um, national order uh, from President Emmanuel Macron. And would I accept this? And I was, you know, my immediate reaction, and I hate to say it, but I thought it was one of those, those, those fake messages that you receive where you've won like two million rand or something, or two million dollars from a late family member. But the reality was, is that I know the ambassador. So the fact that I, I knew who it was from it made all the sense in the world. So it was just amazing. So I'd heard about it at the end of last year and it takes a few months for it to actually happen because I think it's quite a big process um, to send it from France to get to South Africa and then to have the actual ceremony which was held last night. So it's been a very close secret to me and a very one that I was, you know, the moment that you don't think it's going to happen until it happened and then it did happen. Yeah. And yeah, here we well, are 24 well, well, hours later. Well, good for you for keeping it off the record for, for so long. I would have found that, <laughs> that very difficult. Uh, Leanne, I think people who've been watching your career know that this happened a long time ago. You have evolved, you used the word evolved earlier, uh, not only into a journalist who delivers the news, but into a media personality who is sometimes a newsmaker and you've been featured um, in so many events, in magazines, in, in various projects. How, how do you balance uh, those two things, uh, the, those two parts of, of what you do? You know, what I do is, is so, I think because I started at a time where, you know, the likes of Morning Live and being on the SABC, this was and still is the turn to station for South Africans. I mean, you know that, and I say that again, you know, during the time of COVID, people turned to credible news agencies such as the SABC to get information. And I think that's what we are there for. It, whatever happens off of the camera or, um, you know, behind the scenes of my life has nothing to do with what happens in front of the camera. When I am doing my job, I'm doing my job. And that for me is something that I've always done. I block out everything. I don't make friends with people that are in the political sphere. I don't have favors to people. I don't, um, I don't want to ever cross that line because I know what my job is. And it's not to do favors to friends. It's to be there to tell the truth and not to hurt people's feelings, but to tell the truth, whether you are right or wrong or whatever it is that you are doing. I mean, that's what, I, what I've wanted to stand for my entire life um, and have, you know, uh, hopefully up until now succeeded in doing that is, is just being somebody that when you, you know, when you turn to us, and I, and, I, and I say that for all of us at the SABC, when you do turn on, 
you've got to know that this is a credible station, that you can believe, that you can understand that the people that are working there are working tirelessly to inform the public under sometimes the worst conditions. Yeah. And, and that I did emphasize in my speech that I gave last night, just speaking to the fact that we've been to the lows of state capture. We've been to the highs as a country of hosting unbelievable events like the World Cup where you couldn't see a corner that there wasn't construction, stadiums, roads, airports, and suddenly it all came to an end and crashing down. And now we try to build it up, whether or not we can or can't, because we're still in a very difficult position. That's not what it is. But our job is to show South Africa what is happening. They make their own truth. Yeah. And that's what we need to believe in. And I think talking about what drives you and what you're passionate about, maybe making a difference for, for people who are a bit disillusioned about news. Uh, news has been in, in the news for the wrong reasons um, of, of late. And some people have lost a lot of trust in, in journalism. Um, but because you've addressed that, uh, finally, you were also honored for, for your contribution to charity. And I, I guess something like this actually helps you um, push causes that are close to your heart. Can, can you tell us about any of those? Francis, I, I, I tell you, this is this for me has is, is more than anything. And one of the things that I did always feel and and want to be is a vessel for for the, the to be able to speak to people that do not have the ability to speak out. You know, I one of the the, the best. I mean, I've, I've supported a lot of causes as I've gone along in my career, but. To be honest with you, the one that's really hit me is is being a goodwill ambassador for the United Nations um, High Commission for Refugees, the UNHCR. And I think all of us have become very, very familiar with the plight of refugees. And funnily enough, it's become more and more of a focal point because of what's happening in the Ukraine. But the reality is what's happening on our continent is even more frightening. I mean, I have visited refugee camps, Francis. One of the worst that I went to was in Kakuma, and this is in Kenya, you literally take two flights to land on a landing strip that nobody really wants to land on except the UN, because that's the work they do there. You then get into a UN armored vehicle and you go bashing for about an hour over terrain that nobody can honestly live in or want to live in. No water, no vegetation, nothing. And you suddenly come over one hill where you see hundreds of thousands of people living and they've been living there for generations. People that have fled, particularly from South Sudan and other areas that are just full of conflict. And, and, and this is what you see. And it's something that has stayed with me forever. And since then, of course, I've been to Malawi, I've been to Lebanon, to Syria, to yeah. refugee camps in there. And I'm hoping very soon to actually go to Mozambique and to the DRC. Those are two areas where I'm hoping that we also, as the SABC and the largest broadcaster on the continent, are able to show what's happening on our continent. We are aware of what's happening in the world, but we as South Africans and as Africans need to tell our own story. And people need yeah. to be more aware of that. So, yes, I the people, agree more. the stories, yeah. the things, it's amazing. Sure, Leanne, thank you so much uh, for joining us. And you can catch her, by the way, if you tune into this channel uh, tomorrow morning. So, so you can go and sleep now. Um, that was our SABC News colleague, Leanne Manis, honoured by the French government.